Hi everybody. Tomorrow is going to be two weeks before Christmas and it's also going to be the holiday office party at work and everybody brings in some kind of food dish for everybody to share and enjoy and my the thing that I usually bring in or the thing I've always brought in for the past 10 years every year has been reindeer poop. So let's find out how to make reindeer poop. It's really good. All right, the first thing you got to do is go to the store and buy some medium-sized bags of Reese's Pieces and M&Ms. I prefer just the regular milk chocolate M&Ms and maybe a few other varieties, but if you get the, the peanut M&Ms, I don't, it may work. It's, it's worth some experimentation. I've done it before, but I wasn't satisfied with the results. Reese's Pieces work really well for making reindeer poop, both in color and consistency. Once you bring the bags home, you put them in the oven, put it on bake, and I'm saying you do put the bags in the oven, every, the plastic and everything, put it in the middle of the oven. And since the plastic is there and you just want the, the, the pieces to, to heat up and melt, you do not want to burn the plastic at all. So put it on the warm setting, the lowest temperature setting possible, and then you can go from there. And you want to keep them in the oven on the lowest temperature setting for about a half hour at least. I've had them in here for an hour now because at low temperature, of course, it's going to take a while to heat up. In this case, they got up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That seems pretty darn hot enough to me. So I'm going to, I'll keep it on just to keep two of them warm while I work on the other one. I also got holiday mints. I've never done this before in any previous years. I don't even know if they had holiday mint M&Ms back then. But we're going to do these three different varieties to see what, what squeezes out of them. Starting with Reese's Pieces, I'm going to put on some plastic gloves because this is going to be just a little bit too hot to the touch. If you let it cool off for a little bit, you can touch it with your bare fingers, but even then you're going to be letting it go real quick if it gets too too hot for the skin so all right then just squeeze the bag squeeze it and squish it and you want to crush all the candy shells that's why you want to get reese's pieces not reese's peanut butter cups or anything like that that doesn't have a candy shell you got to have the candy shell and sometimes if you're a little too vigorous, you'll actually, you'll start to, to rip it open like that because the shells, when they break, sometimes they can get a little sharp and, oh man, you know what? Look at that. I think maybe 180 degrees Fahrenheit was a little too hot because the plastic seems to be losing its integrity and even it's still too hot with, with, uh, with the gloves on here. I'm going to turn off the oven entirely, let those other things cool down. Now once you get it all mushed up, snip off a corner of the bag. And I think you can see where this is going. Compress the opposite corner and then squeeze that turd out of there. Once you get all the contents out, or most of the contents, there's always going to be a little bit left over. You can flatten this out, stick it in the freezer for a while, and then slice it open later, and you can finish off all the sweet, gooey, or rather sweet, solid goodness if it's in the freezer. Eat the leftovers in there. And you can break it up into smaller pieces or whatever you want. Make some nice turd sized pieces here. Now for the milk chocolate M&M, which used to be called plain M&Ms, still pretty darn hot, but the bag is holding its shape. I used to put these bags in the microwave years ago, but of course the problem with the microwave is that some spots will get too hot and it'll end up burning the chocolate and melting the plastic and I've had to completely discard one or two batches because of that because it just had that burnt taste.
throughout the whole thing once I got it all mushed up. And M&M's, squeezing it out, tends to be a little crispier, I would say, compared to the Reese's Pieces. And it might end up just be better to get this out in one, one single blob, because uh, that's usually what happens when I try to do this with the M&M's. Just one giant mass, which I then have to break up into smaller pieces. There we go. Eat the leftovers. And finally we can do the M&M Holiday Mint Flavor. If you do this, if you make reindeer poop, please be careful. Don't do anything stupid and turn the oven on high temperature. It really should be as low as possible and then watch watch these things very carefully that you don't end up melting the plastic and especially you don't want to burn it. It's got a nice minty smell coming out of there already. And here we go. Oh yeah. This is especially turd like. Alright, then we can just put that in the fridge to cool it down, make them nice and solid again. And I already have a batch in here that I did earlier. There it is. That looks nice. The Reese's Pieces for this batch came out much more turd like probably because it was at a slightly lower temperature and so the bag didn't tear when I tried to squeeze it out. Let me try one of these. Mm -mm -mm. And here's the other three bags that I stuck in the freezer earlier from the first batch. Let's slice this open. There we go. Sweet, crunchy leftovers. Mm -mm. All right. So all this, all these flakes, I'm going to keep for myself and enjoy that. And I got to put these other three bags in the freezer so I can do the same thing. And there we have it. That's how to make reindeer poop. It's nothing more than just Reese's Pieces and M&Ms heated up, melted, squished, crunched, squeezed out and then re-solidified in a different physical form. That's all there is to it. So I'm gonna take this to the holiday party tomorrow and believe it or not, as disgusting as all of this looks and sounds, it tastes delicious. It tastes exactly like the stuff out of the bag because that's really all it is. And I very seldom act, even bring any of it home. There's, there's, uh, this stuff goes real quick at the party. Everybody loves it. It's a smash hit, especially because of the name. It just, it's disgusting, but it's, it's, it's also quite festive. Very appropriate for the holidays. Everybody poops, including reindeer. <laughs>